Red Moon live in Villa 65 met uh, It's OK. Okay. En op dit moment um, ja, komen drummer Andrew Loomis en het echtpaar Fred en Tudy Cole, respectievelijk okay. zanger, gitarist en uh, bassist, bij mij aan tafel zitten om elkaar te interviewen. Fred, sit down. Tudy? Andrew? Where, where do you want us? Over here? Here, at the table. Ja. Yeah. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Mm. En als laatste, Andrew. Please. You all prepared uh, two questions for each other. Who wants to start? I didn't do my homework. You didn't do your homework? Okay, well, I'll start then. Okay. Tootie. Okay. Um, Andrew. Here. Because <laughs> I know you want to go first. Okay. I'd just like you to share with the listening audience what what the family aspect of Dead Moon means to you, because it's a little bit different than for Fred and I, obviously. The family part? Yeah. It's probably the only family I got. <laughs> That's about it. That's it? That's it. <laughs> You're not going to be elaborate tonight, okay? No, 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 no. I took the wrong drugs. <laughs> no, it's, it, it's just good. It's good keeps me there. I think so too. The other thing I don't think a lot of people realize, and I've always wondered about this myself, is that you're the one that came up with the idea of the bottle and the candle. No, no, we had the candle. And 
I so always have I'm the curious bottle. as to, because I can't remember now. It's been so far back. It seems like it's always been there, but I know there was a point when, there, when it wasn't. I'm curious if you can remember when you started that and what made you think of it. There was a hole in the bottle, in the, in the drum, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, it looked like it fit, so I put it in there. And then I had a candle on the front of the drum for a while. And Weed That's was right. doing something, and he set it on top of there, and Fred goes, oh, leave it, leave it. That's lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <Everything>, <laughs> Family Everything's fun. fucking okay. lucky to Fred. Cool. Bad luck is lucky for Fred. And when was that? Oh, the first tour. First tour. Oh, okay. God, that's ages Let ago. me interrupt. Dit sure. gaat dus over uh, de uh, kaars in de Jack Daniels uh, fles die altijd op het uh, drumstel van Andrew Loomis staat. Oké, okay, go on, Tootie. <laughs> that's my two questions. <laughs> okay, who's next? Fred? Mm, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is for Tootie. Okay, okay, so if um, it actually is for, for both of you, so you can both think about this. Okay, if if Dead Moon wasn't if if we weren't in you know if Dead Moon wasn't a band, in other words, this you weren't playing in this band, and and this wasn't a band that you could play in. Period. Is there a band out there, or or what band out there would you want to be playing in right now? That's happening. That's that's a band that's together. Oh God! Do you want to be playing in a in a in an older band that's He's already been established, or a new band that's just coming out, or what? You know. Mm. Man. Beast of Bourbon. Yeah, that that's a good choice for you. That mm. that would work. Who? Who, Beast of Bourbon. Beast, Beast of Bourbon. I don't know if I, if I wasn't playing in this band and had no chance to, what I'd probably do rather than than want to play bass in a different band would be to what I'll probably ultimately do, which is sing in a country western band. Okay. <laughs> That's what yeah, I do. Yeah, no, honestly. I curious, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You have another question, Fred? Um, let's see, I was trying to think of, um, well, well, Andrew can ask a question now, because I don't think if there's anything else I was thinking about. Okay, but. one for you. Okay. If I had two chickens in a bag, and I asked you how many were in there, and I said I'd give you both of them if you answered right. How many would you say? I'd say four. <laughs> no. You knew the answer. He's good at puzzles, you know that. <laughs> um, for for you, Fred, um, the the one thing that always comes to my mind every time that we do Poor Born, okay, uh -huh. off this latest album. Right is that it's kind of the Fred Cole story in 2 minutes 30. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? You figure it kind of covers your life, or is it just just the first part? Uh, it it, it kind of covers where I'm at right now. I, up, up to this point, I think. Uh, I can't remember what the last verse is. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. The woman still drives me crazy <laughs> with the shake of her neck. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> she hopes that's her. No, it definitely is her. Um, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's it's basically where I'm at right now, and if, and I've always looked at it like, you know, it's what I want to be doing, whether it gets any bigger than it is now or not. I mean, this is, you know, I I never thought we Dead Moon could get it this big, <clears throat> actually just even come to Europe or anything on being totally independent. I mean, you got to realize we have no tour support, we have absolutely no record companies behind us. So even Music Maniac, who's our record company, is so small. They're as small as, well, they're, they're bigger than De Tombstone is, but I mean, so we really don't have any so tour support or anything like that, so we're really amazed that we were able to, a lot of things to happen. I, I, I put a lot of that at Paperclip, and... Uh, and our audience, man. And our, our audience, audience has been so supportive killer. that it, without them, we wouldn't have word of gotten off, off, without no, that, off not of first base. <laughs> yeah. Andrew's making faces. Yeah, well, it's, it's, Andrew's yeah. always making faces. Yeah, but it's the truth. It's, it's like, you know... You, it's his charm. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. You only get the gigs if the audience is there. If right. the audience doesn't show up and come, you don't Speaking get the gigs. Speaking of fans, you know? I wanted you to share th the story since the, the crazy Visser brothers are here, Case and Hassan. Yeah. Uh, what's the most no. unusual thing anybody has ever sent to you in the mail, Fred? <laughs> These guys over here, okay. And yeah, there's also, uh, two and here, mostly uh, Case, I think, was one responsible I, for this. We're at home at Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get a, the post office calls us up and they say, yeah, we have a package down here. And, uh, you know, you have to come down and pick it up. And I go, yeah? And it goes, yeah, and it's really strange. It's and strange. I go, man, so you got to be, be kidding me. for you. We have a very small right. village post office. It's yeah. from Holland. Oh, we go down there, and they <laughs> mailed us an acoustic guitar, just like this guitar, okay, that Barbara was playing. Okay? Yeah. An acoustic guitar in the mail, and it made it through the mail. No case, no, no nothing. No nothing. Two just strings the guitar. were broken. Two strings just were broken the is all. They had, the, they had our address on the, <laughs> written into the face of the guitar in a big felt pen, and the return address, and all these 
stamps all over the guitar. And on the back of it, it says, Merry Christmas, Dead Moon. It was great, man. We have it hanging in the store. It's way cool. Well, I think we could uh, go on forever talking like this. I think this is a brilliant idea. Next time we should take an hour for you guys. I think Tootie is really talented as a radio host. But uh, now I would like to ask you to uh, walk back to the stage. You're going to do another three songs. You bet. Stumble. <laughs> Everybody stumble. Oké, okay, je kan uh, nog gaan luisteren naar uh, drie Dead Moon nummers. Gek, hè? De meesten zijn 25 jaar getrouwd en weten elkaar nog zulke vragen te stellen. Ja, goed. <laughs> Ze spelen nog uh, Running Out of Time, 13, Going On, 21 en de laatste Dead Moon Night. Hier is Dead Moon. Als Toedy klaar is met het uh, basgitaartje. Ja, yep. komt ie. Oké, okay, Dead Moon. Thank you. 
Dead Moon met Running Out of Time, Time 13, Going on 21 en Dead Moon Night. En je kan Dead Moon gaan bekijken, 27 ste in Phoenix, Sittard, 28 ste Paard Den Haag, 29 ste Tivoli Utrecht, 30 ste op Koninginnedag in de Melkweg in Amsterdam en 1 mei in Vera Groningen. En dat is eigenlijk een soort thuiswedstrijd. Wie ook in het land is uh, aanstaande donderdag voor een eenmalig optreden is David McCombin voor programma's.